God. I'm eating. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, listen. Mm -hmm, my neutral everyday eye. I need a, all of my shit. This granola nut clusters are really good. Okay. This is the eye we're doing. No, wait. This is the eye we're doing. Remember, I use what I use Frenet's French Vanilla Shake. Really, really pretty, shimmery, neutral. I don't want to spill it, but that. What else? Oh, and my trusty 28 Neutral Palette from Coastal Scents. I used this brown, this brown for a little more color, and this tan up here in my crease because it's really close to my skin tone. Oh yeah, I'm at work, so that's why the background looks really different. Kimmy always keeps her station a mess, so that's that mess behind me. All right, so let's get started. So I already primed my eye. I already put my foundation on. I'm taking my flat shader brush. I'm getting some of that vanilla pigment. That's old school. Ain't it though? Miss Shore is up here talking to me, by the way. Hi, Miss Shore. I won't show you until after oh, you. you um get your hair done. Oh, please don't. Because it rained last night. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm moving my uh, mirror here. All right. None of that. And I'm just patting in the one. Somewhere. I got about that much on my brush. I'm just patting. Packing it on. And I have a dry brush. I didn't wet my brush with six plus. That's your ringer? Yes, darling. Let me stop. I do not need to talk about nobody's phone ringer. My phone is the worst. What's your phone doing? It's a mess. It is. Oh, and just to get it evenly, I'm going to pack. Then I'm going to take it like just in the middle. And go back and forth with a windshield wiper motion. I'm going to take my 217 brush. My Coastal Sense palette. And this pan right here. Just gonna go directly in and blend that out into my crease. I'm gonna take my 224 brush and I'm gonna go into this brown right here. It has a little bit of color just to add a little bit of depth. Tap off excess. And a nice little circular motion. And just get it in that edge, that corner. Oh God, that irritating noise is Indira on the phone. I thought y'all was wondering what that was, like, I know you guys know I have pets, but it's not Sundera. <laughs> oh, and I switched, I went back to this brown. No, I had to switch colors! And I'm just concentrating those out and blending that into my crease and into that pigment shake. Just to give it a little bit of shading. Just right in the crease. Really light, really every day. Um, probably shouldn't be doing that. Doing that a little bit more. Big fluffy brush. Back into, I don't want too much shimmer, so I'm going back into this tan. Right here. And go under my crease. I just waxed my eyebrows today. And since this is like really, really close to my skin tone, I just throw it on. Alright, time for eyeliner. It's a gel formula, so I smudgy, smudgy, smudgy with my finger. I'm 
liner for the bottom. So I want my eyes to look really, really bright. This is the finished look. I did a slight contour for my cheeks. I have on my favorite lip gloss, which is in my ex chestnut. Really fits my complexion. Um, I have Lovejoy Mineralized Blush. That's from Mac. What else finishes off? Um, my foundation is the Revlon Color Stay with a bit of mineralized skin finish on top. This is medium deep, and in the Revlon, I am caramel number 400. So, yeah, my hair is looking really rough right now. I can't even say a little. It's looking really rough. So, like I said, maybe I should go do it. So, this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed. There will be more tutorials to come. Bye.